Hi there and welcome to your workout. Today's workout is going to be a body conditioning workout. And in fact, I want to say a quick hello to Daryl, who's from Nelson Bay. He wrote us this letter just to say he's in the RAAF, but he actually suffers from chronic fatigue. And he's enjoyed doing our workouts because we modify the workouts. Sometimes they're really high energy, sometimes they're a little easier. And we always try and have something in there for the new people. Sometimes when you've got different illnesses, etc., you need to take things a little bit easier until you make a comeback. And we'll try and look after all of you today. Right now, just start marching and warm your body up. Keep the arms moving, keep the legs pumping, and keep your chest up really, really high. Excuse me a moment. Maintain that march in four, and three, and two. Easy walk, step it out, right leg. Sink down through the legs. So the first section is always a warm up. Doesn't matter what sort of show we do, we're always gonna warm up first of all. Just do some low impact moves. And we're gonna mix it, we're gonna do the whole body workout. Upper body, lower body, front and back. We'll work everything. We might even do some eye exercises later, at the very, very end. That'll look attractive. Two more. One more, leg curl, side to side, take it out now. Heels towards your bottom, bending your knees, keep your chest up. Tummies in tight, eight more, that's eight. Seven, six, five, then go back to your easy walks, right leg lead, take it up, lift the arms. Make some muscles, that's it. You gotta just pretend, flex them four more times. Two to go. One more, ready, steady, hit the curls. Squeeze through, keep the hands below shoulder level now, just relax the neck and the shoulders. Make sure you're pumping down through the legs. Eight more. Focus on the belly button staying in. Adding on, march forward. One, two, three, let's do it. Take that back, take it again. It's just down low, that's it. If you can, travel just a little further. Depends how much space you have. Have you cleared yourself a space? Add the knee. Knees lift high. That's it. Same again, two more sets. Move it up. Just one more. Are you ready for the top? Easy time. Give me four. Two more. One more. Step it out, leg curls. This is very sort of rocky music, isn't it? Very strong today, I like it. Move forward, one, two, three, let's go. Kind of works with the bandana. Got my sort of rock chick look happening. What's your favorite music? Is it classical? Is it jazz? Is it country? Is it rock? Heel taps. I kind of like a little bit of everything. Maybe the only one that I don't like as much would be jazz. You know when jazz goes off on a bit of a tangent and something that only musicians could enjoy? That's not really mine. Tap it back. If you can move to it, if you can dance to it, I like it. Even country, yes, I'm afraid to admit, I like a little bit of country. Bring on a bit of Willie Nelson, a bit of Dolly Parton. Tap it out the side. Do you believe that one time in my life I actually looked like Dolly Parton? It was the morning after I had my baby. I woke up and went, oh my God, I've turned into Dolly Parton. Heel taps, tap it out. The girls behind are laughing, they think it's funny. They haven't had babies yet. All the mums at home are going, we know. We know what you mean. We know the cabbage leaves. We know all that stuff. Tap it right back, let's go. Laugh away, girls. It's coming. Your time will come. Eight more of these. Give me four more. That's four, three. Tap it out the side, let's go. Tummy's in tight. Push it right out. Stay strong. Just eight more. That's eight, seven, six, five. From the very beginning, easy walks, elbows up. Come on, a little stronger than that. You can do it. Leg curl, step it out. Heel to your butt. Give me four more. Four, three, two, let's march. Add the knee. Take it again, bring it up. You've got two more to go. Step it up. One more time, we go straight into heel taps. Right leg leads, push forward. Give me four more, and four, three, two. Tap that back, reach out. Seven, six, five, strong arms. Take it side, let's go. Woo Keep the tummies in, adding on double taps. Do it now, two times. Right leg two, left leg two, 
Everyone just keep moving. Easy walks now. Guess what, it's time for a break. But I need you to keep moving, don't stop. We'll be back with some leg work straight after this break. Let's start out with some basic squats. Take your feet about hip distance apart, toes a little bit wider, hands forward and just sit straight down and lift. Straight down and lift. So you imagine you're sitting in a chair and you change your mind. Right down and squeeze your butt. Maintain your abdominal brace all the way through. So you've got to keep pulling those stomach muscles in. Four more and four. That's three. You got two, take a little bit slower now. Two down, two up, rest the arms in. Two and lift. Take it again. Inhale down, exhale to squeeze and push up. Sliding down, pressing your way up. Looks good team. Hands out, go the singles. Give me eight times. Seven. Please make sure your knees don't buckle inwards. You've got to keep the knees going the same direction as your toes. Four to go. That's three. Nearly there team. Hands across your shoulders, slow it down. Easy way down and press your way up. Use your bottom. Sitting down, press and squeeze, inhale lower, exhale push, ease it down. Now the next exercise you want to try would be lunges. But before you do lunges, let's do a simple test. Standing on one leg, maintain your balance. Find a focal point out in front of you that will help you maintain your balance. And I need you to touch the ground five times without overbalancing. See how you go in your own time. So you're lowering down carefully, squeezing and lifting. Maybe if you touch one time, it's not too bad. Let's see how you go. Four, you've got one more to go. Keep your stomach muscles tight. All right, team, that's five times. That's not too bad. How did you go on that side? Was it a total disaster? Maybe one touch? Let's see how the other side goes. Find your focal point out in front of you. Maintain your balance. Ease your way down. And lift that back up. You've got to get through five. Use your breathing. Inhale to lower. Exhale to push. Couple more to go. Keep that focal point, that'll help your balance. One last time, and shake that out. Now, if you were a total disaster on that exercise, you shouldn't be doing lunges without holding on to something because you don't have your balance under control yet. So you need actually a chair or something just to lean on for a little bit of balance. If you touch maybe one time, be very aware that your balance isn't perfect yet, and you need to really concentrate. One leg forward, one leg back, hips square, take it down slow, and lift. So lunging is not an easy exercise, it's quite advanced. And it's very common for people to make a lot of mistakes on lunges. An alternative to doing lunges would be to continue the squats that we started with. You make your choice. If you notice that as you lower down, that your knee kind of buckles in and across, and your hip drops and collapses, what you need to do is just maintain that pelvis in a perfect position, lower the knee straight down. Four more like that. Very important to maintain your alignment. Take it easy. Also make sure you're going north and south, you're not kind of going northeast, southwest. All right, one more time. Take that down and take singles now. Let's go, guys. Eight times. Seven. That's six. Five, hold the tummies in tight. Four times. Three, nearly there. Two, and one. Shake that out for a moment. Luckily we've only got two legs. One forward, one back. Imagine if you were a centipede. Down two. Millipede. Do they have a million legs? Or a thousand legs? Or are they just like a centipede with a funny name? I don't know. A million legs? That'd be impossible. Millipede. Hmm, I don't know. What does milli stand for? Is that a thousand or a million? Keep that going. Ease it down. We know a centipede has a hundred. So does that mean a millipede has more? That's a lot of legs. How many brains do they have to control those legs? Take singles now. Yes, you have tuned into Aerobics Oz style. This is not some sort of strange nature documentary. Four more times. What it's called is distraction technique. You make yourself think about something else for a while and this doesn't seem quite so bad. Four more. Four times, three, that's two, and one. Oh, my goodness, I think that's enough on the legs for now. 
Let's go down and take some upper body work. In fact, we'll do some tricep dips. So sitting down, feet are forward, hands turn towards your bottom, so make sure they're turned around the right way. Lift your chest, draw the shoulders down. Down slowly and push and lift. Inhale to lower, exhale to press. Take that down easy, push your way up. Down slow, breathe out, press. Bend the elbows and push. All right, if you wish, bottoms up and take it faster. And we're gonna take this exercise through to our break. So if you can, just keep pumping out through the arms for as long as you can. Take a short break and we'll be back with some abdominals straight after this break. After a few rude comments from the crew, they're saying that we've got a few blonde members in the team so it might take us a little bit longer to work it out. We've come to the decision that the milli must mean a thousand, like the millennium and how many milliliters are in and whatever it is along the way. So yes, we believe that a, a millipede probably has a thousand legs and thank you for the, the nice comments from the crew about the blondes in the team. Rolling all the way back. You're all right, aren't you Anna? You're not a, you don't have a problem with that one. Emma's kind of in between at the moment. Elbows out to the side, stomach muscles switched on, bring it up, two counts, lift, two, and down, take that again. I certainly hope that your floor at home isn't like the floor that we're working on right now, because my floor's kind of, like, I feel like I'm going to roll off sideways. I'll end up in the water in a minute. Once I start rolling, I'll never stop. Squeeze and lift. I suppose it adds another dimension to the abdominal workout, because you have to actually sort of brace more on one side to stop yourself rolling over sideways. Four more, squeeze and lift. Pull the belly button down. Exhale, squeeze. Two more. A boat just started off in the distance. I thought it was one of the girls making a funny noise. <laughs> Diagonal reach. Stretch it across and back. Stretch it across and back. Breathing out. Exhale and squeeze. Up and over. Holding your tummies in tight. Come on, try and touch the top of your knee each time. Eight more times. Seven, you've got the other hand for support. That's six, breathe out, five, four to go. Squeeze four times, that's three. Breathing out, two, head and shoulders down, two legs up, one toe down. As you do this exercise, you're actually imprinting your spine onto the ground. What that means is that you're closing the little gap, the natural curve, don't let your back arch. You've still got your tailbone touching the ground though, so make sure you're maintaining control. Belly button drawing down and in, eight times, that's seven. That's six, you keep your head on the ground. Four more, I'm sort of checking out what you're doing, what they're doing. Two more. One more time, team roll over onto one side, lean on your elbow and extend one leg out. Little pulses down. As you do this exercise, inwardly rotate the hip, have the heel up and lift the rib cage, maintaining your abdominal bracing. Not bad, hold it there, little circles. Circle up and around, circle up and around, Try not to move the rest of your body. Just work through the hip socket. That's four times. Three times. That's two. Can you circle it back the other way? Down and around. Work with your breath. Try and exhale and lift. Down and around. Four to go. That's four. And three. You've got two. And last one, what it's gonna do is come carefully forward. Press back. Carefully forward. Press back and lengthen. Inhale forward, exhale to squeeze back. Inhale forward. Note whether or not you're starting to sink in your shoulder. You need to keep that rib cage lifted. The rest of your body stays still. Inhale forward, exhale, squeeze back. Two more. Inhale forward, exhale, squeeze back. Inhale forward, exhale, press back. Roll it back onto your back again. Time for the tummy work. Single crunches. Straight up and down. Breathing out. Eight more times, exactly the same. Work the six pack right in the center. Try and get your shoulder blades off the ground as you lift up. Four times. Three, two, ankles crossed, and twist across, up and over. Breathing out. Lift and twist. Uh oh, this isn't a good one to do on rolly ground. <laughs> I'm starting to spin around in a bit of a circle, I think. Eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey guys, take your leg work on the other side now. So spin the legs around. Once again, your knees are bent, your elbows down, lift the rib cage, extend the top leg out and little pulses down. You're trying to push out through your heel as far as you possibly can. So don't sink this way. One hip forward, you're gonna have them stacked on top of the other. No leaning back. Toes down, heel up. Four and three and two. Hold it there, circle. Down the round. Work the breathing, nice and easy. Four more, hold the tummy in. And still lifting up to your pelvic floor. Back the other way. Circle down the round. Remember we're doing a body conditioning workout today, so we want to work as many muscles as we possibly can. Right now you're working through your hips, out of thigh, squeeze it around, and also your core abdominals. One leg comes forward, inhale forward, exhale, extend back, inhale forward, exhale, squeeze back. Try and maintain stillness through the rest of your body, bring that through. You've got four more. Stretch it out one, and press. Stretch it out two, breathe out, two more to go. Inhale forward, exhale, push back. Inhale forward, exhale, squeeze that back. And team lie all the way down. Stretching out, two legs extended. You're gonna lift them both off the ground. Try and do 15 on one side, and then take 15 on the other side, and you're done. We'll be back with stretches straight after this break. When you're exercising regularly, it's really important to stay hydrated before, during and after exercise. Whether it's water or a sports drink, just make sure you're taking regular sips, probably about every 10 to 15 minutes, especially during the high energy style workouts. Now remember, we've got high energy, kick aerobics, Pilates workouts, in fact, all different types of workouts available on DVD and video at the website, www.aerobicsoddstyle.com.au. Let's go into some of our stretches right now. Have one leg bent in front, Take the other leg over the top, drop your bottom down, and just wrap your arm all the way around, taking a great big stretch. And a special hello goes out to Richard. Richard's actually from London. So to all the guys at Schneider's Trading in London, a big hello from the girls at Aerobics Oz Style. Take your stretch now on the other side. One leg across, other leg over. Drop your bottom down and wrap your arms around. So while you're working hard, so are we. We're here at Bayview Park, beautiful Bayview Park, kind of up New... Well, I suppose it's Bayview. Is that the name of the suburb? Near Newport? Anyway, that's the sign that I followed. Being an eastern suburbs girl, if you, if you live in Sydney, you understand that people in the eastern suburbs rarely travel anywhere out of their little pocket. Getting funny, funny messages from the crew in the background there. I come on holidays to do my job. Actually, I like, I went to Canberra on the weekend. That was really good fun, I enjoyed that. Come up into a hip flexor stretch. One leg forward, one leg back. I took my mum just for a trip to Canberra to check out the sights. Went to the War Memorial and actually got to see my uncle's name up on the wall there, which I suppose is a sad thing in a way. Mum told me all the story about her older brother. But it's amazing to see one of your relative's names just up there. It's pretty moving. Lots of They have put all the poppies up next to the names and you see all the different the uniforms and pretty sad things they had to go through. Take one arm up and go a little bit further across to the side. Hold your tummies in. I guess that's why we can be here in this beautiful country exercising and having a great time because they went through what they went through. So thanks guys. Take it over the other side. One forward, one back. Pressing through your hip, keeping your chest up, lengthening out over the hip flexor. Inhale, lift and just exhale, stretch that to the side. Try and reach out through your fingertips. Terrific, sitting all the way down. Just legs crossed. We did some upper body work, so we're going to stretch out through your upper body. Starting out just through the back of the shoulders, one arm across, shoulder down. Stretch that. Just make sure you're not hunching the shoulder up, try and drop it right down as you stretch. Take the other one. Exhale as you pull across. And then to reverse that, take both arms back. 
Lift them up and lean slightly forward. Lifting the arms as high as you can. To take you back into extension, pop both hands down. Lift the rib cage, lift the chest, and looking up. Draw the shoulder blades down your back. And then into flexion, just reach forward, over the top, and sinking over the legs. Walk your hands over to one side. Stretch out to the fingers. Walk it over to the other side. Back to the centre. And roll your way all the way up to the top. Coming and kneeling onto your knees now. Another good stretch for the feet, the shins, the quads. Lifting up tall. And just align your posture right now. Tuck your tailbone under. Put your stomach muscles in. Make sure the ribs are in line. And take a chest stretch. Arms open out. Thumbs are turned up and back. Just really stretch out through the fingers. You should feel that lengthening right across here into the pectoral muscle. And then wrap the arms around. Stretch out through your back and give yourself a big hug. You deserve it. Hopefully you worked hard today. If you did it, you've got to tune in for the next aerobics all style and have a great time. We'll see you then. Bye for now. Zero One Zero Production.